No, I never played Detroit. Yeah, people will just, I mean, people will complain no matter what. Solution is to have specific parts of the map at specific levels so you can decide where to go. That's how this game is, yeah. Every area, tell, it tells you what the level, like, recommended level is for it. Before you even go there, you just look at the map. What's up, Smirky? 70 plus hours, you're level 46. Yeah. So I think most people... There are definitely a f quite a few streamers who have already, like, max leveled and everything. Because they've been, like, Shroud has been fucking putting so many hours in this game. I can't stream that extended period of time like people do. I get tired. <laughs> Koopy Troop, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the armory. I have some hamburgers. Every once in a while, I'll do like a 10 hour stream. But Shroud is doing like 12 hour streams every day for like a week straight. I don't like when do you do anything else in your life? In this area. <laughs> you gotta sleep for like six hours at least, right? And then you have to eat, you have to shower. Like how do you how do you accomplish anything? That's so much streaming. <laughs> Waffle, yeah, Waffle streams, like, so much. Yeah, that's true, probably, I mean, Shroud has so many viewers that he doesn't, um, it's not as easy for him to actually, like, spend time talking to his chat and stuff. Oh, isn't, like, necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's just a different type of stream, right? Some streams you watch because of, I don't know, different things. I feel like... I think in a stream the size of mine you would expect more interactivity because I can. You know, like it's ca I'm capable of reading the chat because there's only less than 2,000 people. Um, but in a chat like the size of his, I don't think it, you would expect it to be. Shit. Does this guy know where I am? No, he doesn't. Like I put out a bounty on me just now, really? Silly. Look there. Are they there? Yeah. I should take a look. I can't climb this. What the fuck? can't see even okay cool contract completed yay that's what we're trying to do check your inventory menu got it um yeah i don't know 
I kind of like, uh... <laughs> I was thinking about this recently. Um... Because sometimes people will use your... Your, uh, viewer count as a... Uh, like an insult. I've seen before people will be like, Oh, well you only have this many viewers, and you've only ever had that many viewers, therefore you're a bad streamer, or something like that. Um... And... I think I get where they're coming from because it's this idea that like your audience should always be ideally your audience would always just be growing, right? Like everybody wants to be ninja and just have a hundred thousand viewers and like a billion subs and just make crap tons of money all the time. Um But I was thinking about it when he, like, said that thing about how he, like, doesn't want to play games with women because of the way that people will overreact, and then over <laughs> everyone overreacted to that. Um, so I was thinking about that, and I was just like, man, I kind of love having the amount of viewers that I have because, like, I make a good living, I get paid to do stuff, I get paid to, like, do what I love, I still have time to, like, travel, and, like, no one really cares what I do except for this, like, audience that I have and almost no one is going to like really notice if I did anything like stupid like that or not stupid not not what I wasn't talking about ninja but like if I did do something stupid or if I said something where I was like that and it was just like there's no reason for people to overreact to this but they do because of how many people watch his stream right So then it's just like he has to watch everything he says and same thing with like Shroud, Summit, like any of the like really big streamers with like 20, 30, 40,000 viewers. They have to be so careful, I imagine. I can't imagine how like they're under so much scrutiny, right? And like not that I have any desire to just like act crazy and just say like things that are going to be divisive. But I have a lot more freedom, I think, being a streamer of like the size that I am. I think there's a there's a lot of um, I think a lot of people don't really consider that, right? Like people, yeah. There's like as soon as like one thing happens. They, like, it gets put on Reddit, and then everyone is, like, debating about it and talking about, like, all this different stuff, and it's just kind of... It's, like, really intense. Like, they're under a lot of pressure. Careful not to get spotted. Um... No? I can't see. What? Oh, there's an archer over here. Oh, the bed's on fire. The tent's on fire. The dog's on fire. You're fine. You're on fire. I'm being poisoned. Everything is going really well so far. Um... Find ancient tablet. Ooh. Tablet? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Nice. Four ancient tablets. Great. I need to upgrade my ship, so. <sighs> oh, my arms hurt so bad. Okay, we figured out, so the past couple of times I've gone to the gym, I felt really nauseous. And we figured out what it was. Because, um, 
So remember I told you guys about that ski machine thing? It's called a ski erg. I don't know why it's called a ski erg. But um, I think that's the culprit. It's just the motion of like, you go up like this with these like uh, handles that have cables attached to them and then you pull down. Um, and you kind of like hinge at the hip, right? To like pull down. And I think that motion of just like up and down, up and down, up and down is what was making me feel sick. Um, Cause we kind of tested it out today and I did, <laughs> my trainer likes to call it the triangle of death. We do the rowing machine straight into the assault bike, straight into the skier, and then back to the rowing machine, back to the assault bike, back to the skier. So it's just like one, two, three, one, two, three, um, for 24 minutes we did today. And so that's eight rounds. And every time I did the ski machine, I was like, yeah, this is what's making me not feel good. Um, like I can do, I can do the rower easy. I can do the assault bike easy. But as soon as I start doing the ski machine, I'm just like, I feel like I'm going to throw up. So I think we're going to try to avoid that thing. Cause that like, as soon as you feel nauseous, then you just can't do anything else, you know? Uh, the assault bike is, yeah, so it's like, I mean, it's like a, it's like a regular bike, but it's got the two handle things. So you pull back and forth as you like pedal. Usually use the, yeah. Hello. Sorry, friend. Anything a mercenary can do for you? Sometimes we take the fish alive in creels. Keeps them as fresh as possible to take to market. Especially in this heat. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I should but open the garage. She mentioned heat and then I realized that I'm really warm. packed baskets for thieves to carry away. The bandits seem to appreciate the freshness of my catch lately. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay, we're testing it again. Remember, it's the, it's the binary choice and whatever we choose, she's gonna say the other thing. So, I'm gonna do the fetch quest, so I'm gonna ask her if she wants me to kill the outlaws, because I bet she's gonna say the so other thing. Want me to gut every single bandit. That would be the plan. Oh! Oh, she actually did it! Okay, so it's not! Okay, test number four. The first three times, they said the opposite. This time, this is the you first time they've me. actually said the thing that Thank we picked. Awesome. Okay, so I was... When this happened before, I was like, if they... Always the struggle is real. Oh my god, you be soft, you're fucking fired. <laughs> I was saying how it would be cool if they made it switch back and forth so you couldn't predict. I can't believe they stole it. Of all oh, I thought I was supposed to assassinate you. Hello? You say somebody stole something? I was about to somebody try and kill that guy. Something? I mean he's a slave owner, so bandits took almost everything. And worst of all, they stole my family's vase. After so many generations, it's gone. Mm. You're wealthy. You could buy yourself a new vase. A new vase? Didn't you hear me? It's a family heirloom. You can't replace something like that. How much is this vase worth to you? I pay a substantial amount of drachmi for it. A very substantial amount. Is finding my vase something you could do? You mean this? Oh, we found it. My vase! My vase! You found it! Okay. Hey. Master, I have a concern. A concern about what? How do we know that this Mystios isn't one of the people who took it in the first place? Um, That's a good shut question. Shut your mouth? Let me talk to her privately to be sure. Yet another example of why I'll miss you when you're gone. What? Why would he let me talk? What? Why would we talk privately? That doesn't even make sense. Mistyos, I know you must have taken the vase from the bandits. Then why would you That's make me look funny. suspicious to that guy? I have oh a my god. To ask of you. Yo, what is your problem? <laughs> Unless I know what it is, I won't know if I can gift you with this favor. You're willing to hear me out. That's a start. What kind of favor are we talking about? My master recently told me that after the coming summer solstice, he will release me. But I don't want to go. You don't want to go? I want you to say that I told the bandits where to find the vase. And then, for atonement, 
I will offer my services. Well, who took my vase? <laughs> the timing. All right, if you want to stay, I don't really care. Your slave told the bandits to loot your home and take the vase. What? Can this be true? Why would he keep him as a... Oh my god. Yes, master. If you'll allow me to make atonement, I'll... Atonement? Never! I kind of thought that might happen, allow yeah. allow a slave who tells bandits to steal from his master to work for me. What? This, no. This is a bad plan. Please, no. Let me stay. I won't hear it. Leave now. Before I pay these mystios to kill you. This was his Go! plan. It wasn't a very good plan, but I went along with it. Sorry, dude. Just when you think you know someone. Oh. Here's your payment for returning my vase. Yeah, that was that. Uh... Wait, he gave me his. Why would a slave have a sword? What? Why would you arm him? Okay. Uh, so let's see. It said, "Where's my?" Oh, it's up there. Okay. First of all, why wouldn't he want to be free? Second of all, why did he think that his master would be happy about him helping some bandits steal from him? <laughs> I guess maybe it's like that thing where I read a story about this guy who hated his wife and so he went to rob a bank and then he just turned himself in and was like, I would rather be in jail than be at home with her and then he was sentenced to like home confinement <laughs> you dumbass can you imagine being his wife <laughs> you'd be like what the fuck you did what that's so dumb is that a bear just chilling okay <laughs> that was like his sentencing they were like, all right, fine, you're confined to your house. It's like, wait, but I did this to get away from. Just get a divorce, you weirdo. I want this, but I don't want to get spotted. Okay, we're fine. That's not what I meant to do. Three! What? Why didn't it work? Okay, I couldn't chain my attacks for some reason. I don't know why. Did you just punch me with your melty fist? Get out of here. Oh, they're fighting the bear. Sick. Get him! Good job! I get you. Oh, I hit the wrong button again. A job well done. Yeah, I get that the guy like wanted to like the slave wanted to stay but like why would you think that your punishment punishment would be keep working for me and not being sentenced to death or put like something like that you know like you helped you claimed that you helped bandits help or help the bandits steal from your master and you think that he's just gonna keep you around that doesn't make sense he didn't- he did not think that through, no. It was a failure in planning. Alright, side quest lady. We did it. You're back! Have you killed them? I took care of them. Every last one. You've done me a great service, mercenary. Take this as thanks. That'll do.
Okay. Your man is dead. So, let's check our other... What else do we have? We need to win one more battle for an Athenian. We need to kill 10 Athenian dudes. Spartan war supplies. Battles. Okay, so we need to do more of the conquest battles. But I don't know where we have any. So there's some. Um, I feel like we should go back here. This was not level 23 before Megaris. That was level like t like 11 or something. That's cool. So it, it increases when you level up. Everything else like scales with you. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, because see, Kefalonia, everything is level 23 now. So the minimum region is level 23, which is my... I'm 25, so that's fine. Cool. That's, I mean, that's good. I guess. Unless you just wanted to go back and, like, destroy everyone. <laughs> um, so, oh, this is Corinthia. Okay. So let's go back here. And, who are you? Brisson? Maybe we should kill him. <laughs> Out of context, this sounds really messed up. Who's this guy? Oh, we should, maybe we should kill him. Should I go back to... Yeah, let's go again. It's a cultist. Yeah, that icon is the cultist. The yellow one with the weird, like, kind of horns or whatever. I, re I started rewatching The Wire. I forgot what a good show that is. I mean, not that I forgot, but I just haven't watched it in a long time. So good. It's one of my favorite shows. It's just that I have I've watched it like twice, and then I haven't watched it since a few years, I think. That was um, coffee that I was drinking, but it's kind of low. Should grab some water. Is it good? Um, yeah, if you like, uh, like, police dramas with, like, societal kind of undertones and HBO. What is the plot of The Wire? Uh, let's see. The series looks at the narcotic scene in Baltimore through the eyes of law enforcers as well as the drug dealers and users. Other facets of the city that are explored in the series are the government and bureaucracy, schools, and the news media. The show was created by former police reporter David Simon, who wrote many of the episodes. Yeah, so it's like, I mean, it is like cops versus drug dealers, but it all, and it shows you, like, the perspective from the cops, like the detectives and the drug dealers, and the drug users. So it's pretty interesting. I like it a lot. Uh, it was from 2002. It has a 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. 9.3 on IMDb. So um, it is a pretty well-liked series. So if you're looking for something to binge watch, then I would recommend it. One of the best shows of all time. Yeah. <laughs> Was it in black and white? It's not that old, come on. Okay, uh... So... Let's do this, I guess. Let's not talk to that person ever, because it's a level 44 mercenary. I don't want to die today. Maybe tomorrow. Alright. Did you watch The Night of... No. Seen it five times? I think this is my third... My third time. Got stuff to buy. I know, I have to go to the store. Oh my god. I have a lot to do today and tomorrow. Oh my god. You left a message on the board. What's the matter? You think you're so incredible, don't you? What? 
You play hero for the Spartan army in Megaris, and now you think you can do anything. Can't believe the town is asking me to build a statue of you. A statue? I did what had to be done. A statue may be overdoing it. Before I agree to making some statue in your honor, I, get a statue? I want you to do something for the people. There's a pack like of winning the battle for Megaris? Okay. Village. You want to be a real hero? Now's your chance. Wolves. <laughs> yes, real ah. wolves. Not just some self important Spartan in a silly this helmet. This lady. You want me to kill a pack of wolves? Yes. All of them must die. Um. I'm the one for the job. You're truly brave, mercenary. You can leave everything to me. Thanks. That was, um, that was pretty rude. I didn't appreciate that. I didn't appreciate your attitude. Yeah, I don't like that she was like, you fought this very difficult battle. And now I have to build a statue for you, but I'm not going to do it until you do something for me specifically, which will benefit the people. You know what? This doesn't benefit the people. This benefits you. <laughs> like, fine, I'll do it. You're so brave. Oh my god. I'm going to suck up. No, I think these are just going to be regular wolves. Yeah. I set myself on fire. I made a mistake. There's a lot of them. Oh my god, I hate this. So, we're just gonna mute it because I can't stand the sound of the wolves whimpering it makes me feel really bad so i'm just gonna mute it yeah the sounds that they make make me very unhappy so i'm just not gonna do it um i wish that video games did less of the murder wild animals things i don't know i'm not really into it I guess it, like, makes sense and it was a part of the world, but I don't like doing it. I don't like it. Yeah, I guess that is, like, a Ubisoft thing, huh? Far Cry had a lot of that. Assassin's Creed has always had that. You're back. Have you killed them? I took care of them. Every last one. The gods favored me the day we met. Take this for your trouble, Mistyos. I don't want you in my crew. Thank you. There's no space on my ship for painters, okay? Oh, that's the thing that gives us an ability point, isn't it? I don't know, she's nice because I did her a personal favor. Oh, there's people here. Hey. Uh. Nope. Why were you just standing in the dark? That was really weird, dude. Oh, it's a... Okay. I was trying to, uh, pull out my bow so that I could shoot it, but... 
we do this instead. Side of the wall. <laughs> okay, this is the thing, right? The yeah. Um, Derek Dutchman, live to be free. Smirky, thank you all for subscribing. Welcome to the armory. Have some hamburgers. Appreciate your support. New subs can also join our sub only Discord. I know there's that other direction we didn't go yet, but I just wanted to see what's over here first. Um. Ginger Powers, Josie J, Sweatshirt Hooligan. Dangly7 and Effington, thank you all for the resubs. Welcome back to the armory. Thank you for continuing to support this broadcast. Oh, this looks good. You guys had a good time in this weird place. Okay, this is a very... Okay, so this is how we get out, but I, I want to go the other way because we opened that little thing and then we didn't go there. So, let's go back down this way. that much in there. Oh, man. The other show I was thinking about rewatching was Firefly, but I feel like I'm not emotionally prepared for that yet. I wonder if we can light this on fire. Kind of. Thank you for the two month resub. Have some Ann Burgers. Thank you for the two months. Not emotionally prepared to deal with it not being complete. Yeah. It's, um. That is pretty frustrating. But. It's a really, really good show. I definitely recommend you watch it. It's just that it sucks that it's so short. I mean, yeah, it's really kind of. Eh. <laughs> This area will be well defended. I just wish that had been able to go to like six seasons instead of being cut short, you know? It's not enough, but it's something. <laughs> I wonder how much the internet would lose their shit if they were like, we're gonna start a firefly again. Isn't there some, like, show that got saved? Yeah, wasn't it Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Whatever. Why can't we do that for Firefly? <laughs> Why can't Amazon or Netflix, like, produce more of it? So it says free captive. Oh, you're back here. I see. Yeah, 
Ancient tablet. Huh. Okay. Oh god, move, 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 move. That was close. Is that guy crying? What's this guy doing? Yeah, ancient tablets! Oh, shit. My bad. Ah! Let me out of here! If you say so. I'm free! How can I ever repay you? Um, I accept drag me? Assassin gear? Um... Uh, Salu, thank you for gifting subs to KG Veta, Veti Veti Omega Wave, Bruno, Zara, Flynn, Zunk, Veminal, Psyched, Kiosis, Wiffy, Setos, Zan, NamVP, Maxi, Carlos, y'all just got gifted subs, Salu the Mediocre, thank you so much again for your very generous gifting of subs to a bunch of people we are not worthy thank you bounty hunter thank you for the five month resub you guys just heard your name you gotta gifted a sub welcome to the armory no longer mediocre should change your name from salu the mediocre to like salu the awaited because you're awaited in Valhalla, you know? You know? End of Heroes! Thank you for the 46 month resub. Have some Ann Burgers. Now I want to rewatch Fury Road. God, that's such a good movie. I've watched it so many times. To change your names. I know. Remember when it used to be two legged panda and now he's Pendu? I was talking about Fury Road. Uh, Mad Max. Who are you? Oh, civilian. Wait, what? What is this fort thing then? Are there bad guys? Hello? Small child? There's no one here? Oh, am I being attacked? By wolves? Oh, it's their treasure apparently? Sorry, but you attacked me. I would have walked away, but for some reason you decided to attack me. My apologies. You haven't seen it? Oh my god, really? Oh shit. You haven't seen Fury Road?
Cinematic masterpiece. I yeah, I agree. Even if you didn't love the movie in terms of like the story and stuff. I know some people were mad that Max didn't say a lot, which I kind of found weird. <laughs> it's not like a talkative person. Um, but, like, just visually, God, what a, and musically, is something you need? uh, is there something Come on my face? Hello? Spotted in the area. And you want me to kill all the bandits? <laughs> I would be in your debt. Oh, yay, we didn't have to guess this time. You can count on me. Sick. Good. God damn it, stop it saying that. Here. It's mature and violent, but also beautiful. That is a really, yeah, that's a good way of describing it. The, like, the content of it is very mature, and there is a lot of violence, and, like, people dying in kind of gruesome ways. But it's really beautifully done. Which is kind of a weird balance to kind of strike. Um... Kind of similar, maybe not, I don't know if you guys are going to agree with this, but like Kill Bill. Where a lot of the fight scenes are really interesting and like choreographed really cool. And I think that movie in general is very beautiful. Um, I love, I love Kill Bill. I'm like, I, I really love those movies. Um... that I'm honing in over. Oh, you're like over here. Oh, we need those. Yes. Okay, cool. Let's kill these guys first. What is that? Oh, that was a person who was hunched over, but it looked like a person that was like like some weird like monster creature. <laughs> I was like, what is that? It was like just a guy who's like hunched over kind of, I guess. It was very weird looking. <laughs> I was like, they have a golem. Yeah. He's like trying to search for something, I guess. Get me out of here. here there's a market near here. Done. He has back pain. <laughs> Someone, please help yeah. me. Hello, I'm here to help you, I guess. I'm eternally thankful, Mistios. You're welcome. If you pay me. Later on 24 hours, the most important movies I'll ever watch. Yeah. Weren't they like talk weren't there talks about making another Fury Road movie, but then it got like blocked or something? I forget. There was some kind of like weird drama. As there always is apparently with movies for some reason. What? Is that a person? No. Writes BS to the studio and the director. Yeah. Kill Bill? You haven't seen Kill Bill? Tom Hardy and Charlie's Throne didn't get along? Oh. Well, that's not... I mean, that... I don't know if that's true or not. Um, but that's not what I was talking about. I know there was, like, there was specifically some kind of studio drama. Don't, I'm not mad, I'm surprised. I would highly recommend watching them. If you, I don't know where you're from, but if you have US Netflix, I know that both Kill Bill 1 and 2 are, or they were recently on Netflix, so I don't know if they still are, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that they still are. I would definitely recommend if you, I mean, they're Quentin Tarantino movies. God damn it, dude. Uh, so if you like Quentin Tarantino, um, if you like cool fight scenes with swords, then... Um, then yeah, I would recommend watching them. Um, okay. So, we had to go talk to this lady again because we finished her quest. But I've been kind of just doing 
these things. Athenian soldiers now. We have to destroy two more in the Obsidian Islands. What are the Obsidian Islands? What does that mean? The volcano ones? What, how am I supposed to know which one is that? Where's the volcano? This one? But like, how am I supposed to know from looking at my map which ones are the obsidian islands and which ones are just like regular islands? It says it on the right? Where? Oh! Okay, obsidian islands. Wait, why doesn't it just say... Oh, this doesn't... Why doesn't it say, like, what is it, Hydria? Why doesn't it say Hydria instead? Pirate Islands. Obsidian Islands. What? That's kind of weird. So these two are Obsidian Islands. This one is a Pirate Island. This one's... All three of these are Pirate Islands. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Um. Okay. Let's go do this. I have so many movies that I want to watch now that I'm just thinking about. I haven't watched 300 in a while. Okay, so we don't take fall damage, right? <laughs> That's like a billion feet. Oh my god. That's so dumb, but I'm a fan of it because I hate fall damage. <laughs> What's weird to think about is that, uh, the queen in, oh, the queen in 300 is Cersei from Game of Thrones. That's kind of weird to think about. What is this guy? Oh, he's just like a big dude. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, that's Lena Hetty. Or is it Hedy? I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Uh. Plays Connor in the Terminator series. Yeah. She also. Uh. Is this an ant fact? No, that's legit. She, she's the actress who plays both characters. She also is in, um. A. Kind of lesbian rom-com with Piper Parabo or Parabo called Imagine Me and You, which is a very cute movie. Okay, that guy just exploded. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, give me your shield. All right, cool. Now let's do this. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Sorry. The wrong button again. God damn it. Okay, what the fuck, dude? I mean, that hurt a lot, yeah. Please stop. Kick. Okay, he doesn't care about being kicked. Whoa! <laughs> Hello? I mean, well, so I say kind of lesbian because it's not like 
the entirety of the movie isn't necessarily about like her sexuality. It's not like a, I don't know, kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It's pretty, yeah, it kind of, I mean, kind of is, kind of isn't, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It feels like something that's more about the romance and less about sexuality, I guess. I hit the wrong button because I forgot what buttons I have activated. Oh God, I set myself and everything on fire. I was trying to do the assassination thing and I hit the wrong button. All right, I mean, I hit the right button, but I was on the wrong weapon wheel. That was my bad. It's the same for my assassination thing. I think I need to move them around, but I'm scared if I move them that I won't remember where they are. I think it's just more that it feels like it's about their, like, it's about the, the romance and less about, like, the sexuality part of it, which is why I said it's, like, kind of lesbian, because it's not, like, I don't know. It's not like, what was that movie? Um, blue is the warmest color, I think, that, like, French movie that was, like, very much about them being lesbians. So it's not like that. movie was trash so I didn't like that movie either I really didn't like that movie and so many of my friends and other lesbians that I know like loved that movie and I hated it I didn't enjoy it at all uh, it's called blue is the warmest color it has what's the woman's name that's in it who is also in s s the James Bond movie Leia said you yeah, that's her name. So she was in that. And I don't remember the other girl's name. I just didn't like the characters. It's not that the acting was bad. I just mentioned it because that's what people know her from is from the James Bond movie. Yeah, she has the craziest last name. She's gonna be in Death Stranding? Yeah. Yeah, she's in Death Stranding. Um, yeah, that's, I, I think I would agree with that. Sweet cap. That's how that movie felt to me. This is a big place that I'm just like waltzing up to because I wasn't paying attention. I'm just like talking. <laughs> All right. What do we got? Sweet. Supplies? Oh, that's a different location. It's like a nearby place. But we've got this big port here. Yeah, it felt very much like here are lesbians through the lens of like some heterosexual dudes. And I think that's why I didn't like it. I had so many friends who liked that movie and I felt like I was crazy because I was just like, I didn't like that at all. I didn't enjoy that. See, here's, okay, when we were talking earlier, so go back in time. Remember when we were, remember when we were talking earlier about how I was saying like this game like they could have expanded on the assassin mechanics like this. See these things? Why can't I open them and sneak inside? Why is that not a mechanic that I can open like swing this thing open and go in? So like that kind of thing, those like really little details, I think would be really awesome. And like earlier there was a tent that had a like a fabric draped down and I tried to walk through it because I was like, oh, that'd be really cool if I could go into this tent through this fabric that is just like hanging here. But the fabric doesn't move. It's just a solid wall. I feel like more in-depth stuff like that would be really, really cool, but it doesn't exist, so. Like this thing, why? Uh, 
Do you remember, actually, there was a moment earlier in the playthrough where I tried to go through one of these windows because I thought, by looking at it, that it would swing out, that I could just, like, go out. Um, but it, I was not able to do that, I guess. Oh, shit. Um, maybe we should get that guy first. I don't actually know. These guys are in, this, like, fort is laid out really awkwardly. Uh, maybe if we go down this way. This guy has very bad vision, by the way. He doesn't see me just, like, walking around down here. Can I get underneath him without him seeing me? Okay, he's very blind. Assassinate. Oh god, that was really- she just grabbed him by his balls. <laughs> oh, she just grabbed him by the balls and then threw him off and he goes, ah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny sounding. Every time, man. That's the best sound effect in this game. Okay, is this guy, he's on top? Okay, he is not gonna die when I do this. Oh! Mate. Okay, never mind, he died. Oh god, this person coming. I thought that, that the bar was like saying that he wasn't gonna die, but he did. Hey, what's up? Whoa. Maybe it was the fall damage? I don't know. We should just assassinate this guy, but I really want to kick him off of this thing. Oh, or you could just walk right in front of him. What? I hit one and she did nothing. Why are you like this? One. Kick him, you fucking weirdo. Oh, are you trapped down there? Hang on. Oh, I can't. Ow. Oh, damn, you can climb. What the fuck? What was that? Um, hello? What are you saying? This guy doesn't get- I kick him and he just doesn't move. Jesus, I'm like breaking my ankles on him right now. Kick. Kick. Fuck. What? Jesus Christ, what a beefy human, oh my god. Holy shit. You missed, weirdo. Oh, there he goes. Ooh. This guy's a boss, holy shit. Ah, uh, hello. Okay. Okay, alright. Oh god damn it, I hit the wrong button again. It's so, like, difficult trying to switch between the weapon wheels, because you have to hit, like, tilde and then one, or whatever number you're trying to do. Oh, you guys didn't hear all that screaming? Nice. What? That didn't kill you? Oh shit, what the fuck? Okay, I thought that was gonna kill him. What? Again, see like that, I hit Q and she... She, like, crouched sideways as though she was blocking, and then she didn't actually parry him. So... what happened? See, look, Q, there you go. I don't know if I'm hitting it too early or too late. I can't tell. Oh, okay.
So, is this location complete? Alt. No, wait, what? Alt. I don't... I guess it is because it's not showing me any more objectives. Hello. <laughs> Said you completed it? Okay, thank you. Okay, I heard people talking. It's just the two of you? Just the two of us. Okay. Why only two of you? Why are they both talking at the same time also? Oh, there's four of them. Okay. My... Uh... Oh, damn. Okay, there are a lot more people here than my hawk saw, apparently, but, you know, it's fine. Bounty hunters are hunting you. Bring it on! Okay. I want to recruit another one of those mercenaries, but I don't know how to only kind of kill them so that you can <laughs> recruit them. I don't know how that's like, how I did that before. Because most of the time they just die. Paralyzing arrows. Kick them when they're very low instead of killing. But doesn't that just kill them? Kicking is non-lethal unless they fall. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Well, we could also just go kill the bounty sponsor since it's right here. And we need to burn these supplies anyways. Bare hands, unequipped weapon. Huh. Okay. No, there's a, uh, there's like a lion or, or like a, probably a leopard in here. Some kind of cat that's making that noise. Let's see. Captive. Captive animal. What did she just do? Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. I get it. Bird of War supplies. Hey, we did it! I meant to do that. We planned ahead, you know? Ouch. 
Sweet. New quest. Talk to the Athenian soldier. Okay. Loot treasure. Oh, hey. Ah. Hello. Oh, you have a... Okay. So... Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Lots of shit going on. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Sorry about your dog. Oh my god, he's gonna John Wick me. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. See, I was holding Q and she didn't counter. I said, I, just, I can't figure out like what. I don't know if it's that you're not supposed to hold it or if you, if I'm not holding it as early as I thought I was. I like how he slides out of the way as like on the ground still. So. Again, I hit Q. I don't understand. Oh, oh my god, dude. What the fuck, dude? The what? Okay. I'm trying to, like... Okay, that didn't kill him. So we're gonna try and kick him again. I don't want to kill him. I mean, I want to recruit him. Try again. Yay! Cool. Alt. I could use someone with your strength. Oh. Join my crew. Well, he, I mean, he looks like a pirate. He only got one eye. Cool. All right. Whoa. How come in this, this isn't what he looked like before. Why do they look different? He got upgrades. He gets up he gets promoted. They have generics on the screen. Oh, that's kinda lame. So this guy is plus four ship health, rower stamina, and weak point creation with arrows. Um, so I think we'll put him instead of her. I don't know, this one's ship armor. Ship health. The thing, he doesn't increase ship health, and this guy does. Hmm. No, I think I will replace this one. I think that's okay. Uh, we have nine of these now, so we can upgrade. They fight when you board. Yeah, those are the dudes who jump over to the other side, so it's good to have these bounty hunter bros. Um, 20% ship health, so we can actually do that. That's seven of those things, though. We could do two 
four. I'm gonna do multiple of these instead of doing one of these. Could do one. Could do this. Do you have so many supplies? I don't know. I guess I haven't really been using them. For stuff. I've been dismantling everything instead of selling it. That gives you some supplies. Mostly for upgrades, yeah. Never went to the merchants to get tablets. Merchants to get tablets. Um. Using that one. I have 22,000 assassin damage. Jesus. That's such a huge number. I'm gonna start using this one. I'm gonna try- I'm trying to get these numbers up more because I feel like when we assassinate people, that's all well and good. But when I get into actual, like, sword fights with people, my damage is really low. And so, like, I could just, like, hard focus the stealth stuff, but I kind of prefer more well-rounded. We have so many helmets. They're all terrible. All they do is increase my armor. That's a fucking cool ass helmet though. Check that out. This is the only one that increases my assassination damage. Unless we engrave these with some... Maybe we can engrave them with some... Something for assassination stuff. These are both literally the exact same. Which of these to use, but I need to upgrade. I've been using this one for a long time. Warrior damage. Yeah. I'm get rid of all of these. We have two ability points. What? What have I been doing? Did you upgrade the spear? 
I mean, I don't really like the spear, so I don't use it. Um, I really want to, like, move around my abilities. How do I do that? What? Oh god, what just happened? I hit my DPI button. That was crazy. Um... How do I move them? I don't know how to move them around. Oh, I see. So these ones are the ones that are... So, on a sign? A sign. Uh, okay. So, kick is gonna stay where it is. Poison, and then I'm gonna put flame where this one is on a sign. This one is gonna go here. So then kick, poison, fire, this guy. Okay. And then we're gonna do shield, this thing, on a sign. Oh, you can assign it to multiple spots. This guy is going to go to three, and then... Were those the only ones we had assigned? Right, no, I, I didn't want to unassign things, I just wanted to... Oh, this guy. Second wind? Wait. No, we already have that here. Sparta kick is active. There's nothing that we have unassigned, right? Can I assign this to a second spot? Oh yeah, so I could have it on four for both. That's actually pretty cool, because that one I use like all the time, right? So I like want it to be... Because that one's like your quick, it refills 35% of your health, so that's good to have. Um, okay. So we can do this, increase our warrior damage by 20%, which might be good. Like I was saying before, my warrior damage is pretty low. So I might do that. I am gonna do that, actually. We're almost, uh, almost tier six. Blacksmiths reduce the price in their engraving services. Cool. Okay, uh, we did that. So we still have to go back to this lady. I'm gonna hit this quest, and then these are not quests, but this location. And then we might do this section and then go back to her. But I need to use the restroom. So I'm gonna do that um, after we free this thing. Yep. Goodbye, kitty cat. All right. BRB, everyone. Thank you for your patience. 